What's up, y'all, and welcome to another episode of Common Sense Reactions. Today, we're dealing with Charleston White. Apparently, he says something about Fulio's mom. Charleston White is out of pocket, always. Uh, but we're going to deal with this real quick, so, see what he's talking about, because sometimes he got some knowledge. I just got paid $60,000 for my podcast from using this app. Sometimes he got some knowledge to drop, and then sometimes he just be on bullshit, and, you know... I, I can't defend it. You feel me? <laughs> but yeah, sometimes you got some knowledge. Oh um, man, we're here, man. I think everybody knows why we're here, man. We're back sooner than before, sooner than ever. Everybody you knows they, why you, we're you here. Think they know why we're here. What you think they know why we're here today? Cause we do this shit all the time, Sean. They can't think. They sure they can't know why we're here. I think fans put two and two together. They see things. They see other interviews I do. They see blogs posting it. They see your name being brought up. Okay, let's talk then. Let's see why we're here then. What is bro wearing, fam? Like, I'm... <laughs> is this a chef's outfit? Is he finna cook? Is that what's going on? Like, I don't understand why bro is... <laughs> bro is dressed like a first-rate line... <laughs> First rate line chef. The joke's already done because I fucked it up with mine. Anyhow, let's get to it. So, what are you wearing right now? Is this a, uh, this this a doctor is, this suit? Is, uh, man, this is a new doctor suit, homie. Uh, Dr. Umar Johnson got a bullshit doctorate degree. So, I've been given an honorary doctorate degree uh, by the new nation, homie. I'm the new doctor. Uh, I'm the new minister for black people. So, I minister healing by way of words. Uh, I diagnose them mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and psychologically. I'm an expert in diagnosing. Oh, okay. Because at first, because I know Fulio's mom, Fulio's mom is a nurse, so I, I didn't know if he, that was a. I'm a doctor. I ain't no nurse, Nick. Yeah, yeah. She got to do what the doctor say do. Yeah, she only went so far. So yeah, she yeah she minister uh, medication is given by the doctor. I minister real healing by way of words. Yeah, but. I First of all, bro's funny as shit. Second of all, I don't know why he doesn't allow people time to grieve in peace. Like that woman's uh, child just left. If you want to get to the fuckery and the and the buffoonery, that's your you know your prerogative. But at least let that woman grieve the loss of her son for a little bit stress-free without having to see this and Sean you messy as hell for interviewing them right after you wrong brother everything content can't be everything the extra YouTube check can't be that good you know what I'm saying for you to be like nah I gotta take advantage of this moment and let this man come on here and talk bad about this lady I mean you can't belittle a nurse though because people uh, based on Fulio's music people assumed his mom to be a hood rat, or... She uh, is. Uh, some of them little boys in the rap song say they gonna go have her going back to snorting cocaine. One of them said in the rap song, I can't think, I heard the other day. Uh, but one of them said somebody's mama. And they said she used to snort cocaine in the rap song. Okay, so the key word here is used to. So once you wore something, you can no longer become something else, Charleston. I think the fact that they're saying used to indicates that this lady was cognizant of the fact that her life wasn't going in a positive direction. What's going on, baby girl? I'm going to watch the baby. You going to watch the baby? Yeah. Okay. Take this food out of your mouth. Babies? Yeah. Okay, go watch babies. What do you gotta do? You gotta brush your teeth and do your affirmations, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll go get your toothbrush. I'll pause my video and then we'll go brush your teeth and do your affirmations. And then mommy can put you on the iPad. I think. Did you get changed? Yeah. All right, cool. Daddy's making a video. I'll be 
with you in a second, okay? But yeah, I feel like that shows that she was um she was aware of the fact that her behavior wasn't um productive and she made a different decision with her life. You can't call that woman a hood rat cuz she lived in a hood had some issues coming up in the hood and got herself together. So she might have been a hood rat mama. She, you know, she raised a boy in the ghetto, single parent mom. Uh, you know, boy got put out at 14 years old. Them hood rat babies. Uh, most women who are not hood rats, uh, their children ain't getting put out at 14 years old. They're not ending out on their own at 16 years old. Most mothers are going to go to extreme measures. Uh, to keep their children from being in the streets as children, teenagers. So I, I, I would assume she's a hood rat mama. His his sister's a teacher. I don't mean she don't know plenty of hood rat teachers. So bro, bro's um, bro's whole thing is coming on and saying people need to be teachers, people need to be doctors, people need to not be rappers, people need to do things that are constructive. For the community the man's mother was a nurse his sister's a teacher but you want to blame the mother like that's clearly a decision that bro made he made the decision everything else all the positive stuff i see going on around me and the positive changes i see around me i want to be a street nigga you know what i mean <clears throat> We got to stop blaming, uh, and sometimes it is, you know, the mothers contribute to it because they turn a blind eye, they act like it's not happening, they act like they don't hear all the stories of what their kid's doing and all this type of stuff, bro. you know, and then they get on TV and scream about my son ain't never hurt nobody as soon as he's gone, you know. I work at AM Paint, Maud I. Logan, or uh, Sam Houston High School. Them hoes get high, and all kind of shit. Nigga, teachers and nurses, man, them ain't nothing but some uh, uh, executive hoes, that's all. Yeah. Well, I mean, your name came up in the interview, and, I mean, she voiced her dislike for you. Um, you know, I, I explained that Fulio, well, you told me Fulio threatened you before that, said he was going to smack you. Oh, why she say she don't like? I don't always have one, two hours in my day. <laughs> I guess she says you're too old to be doing the things you do on the internet. Oh, uh, she too old to be getting shot. My mom ain't never been shot. She did not get shot due to her own behavior or activities, bro. And people was looking for him, couldn't find him, hit his mom's. That's it, bro. Like, what? Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like, Charleston B, I think he's losing his way. And he's just trying to stay relevant, so he'll take any opportunity to do that. And, uh, yeah, you've lost your way, my guy. The, the whole message that you're trying to push is being watered down. My grandma ain't never been shot. My mama house ain't never been shot up. Uh, she too old to not have a man. And she too young to be bearing a son. So who give a fuck if I'm too old to be acting like this online? I'm playing a character. This is not who I am in real life. I've become a millionaire from playing this character. So how am I too old to become successful? So let me just say this to who are your fool your mama. I had no idea who your son was. I heard his music. And at the time, he just had made uh, a polarizing song at a graveyard with, with dead people. So when, when I saw this, he was just making this song. Who wouldn't be f about that? So she's being... So let me just say this, homie. Her son threatened me as a young man. And I'm an older man, close to her age. Her disrespectful demon son said that he was going to do physical harm. <laughs> Bro, said her disrespectful demon son. To me, because I, 
commented about a video he made against dead people at a graveyard. He said he would slap me. If I was her, I wouldn't have no problem with me and my son and threaten him. So she got to be a hood rat mama. I okay, that's 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 legit. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. You know, um, if he had spoke about the behavior in the video or the morality of the behavior and Fulio okay. felt like it was his job to try and... <laughs> if Fulio thought it was his job to put him back in line or threaten him or like, you know, whatever it happened, just... Now you're free game, brother. Like you're you're open to discussion, and you did something that was crazy, guy. Like I know everybody's doing it. Doesn't make it any less crazy. Doesn't make it any less disgusting. You know what I'm saying? I sat and listened to that woman make justifications and excuses for her son's behavior. Not once did she hold him accountable. Me and my brother caught a murder case, Sean, as children. My brother just come home from doing 31 years for a murder he committed at 17 years old. My mother never made excuses for us. When we would complain about it's hard on us, my mother would remind us that you guys are responsible for taking somebody's life. I still get to come see you, son. That other mother can't go see her, baby. I don't hear that woman talking like that. I heard that woman make excuses for him making a song at a graveyard. What she say? Oh, that wasn't a real graveyard. Come on, mama. That's why that boy dead. And he got killed in a horrible way. So I know she can't sleep good at night. That's one of those mothers who condone their children's wrongdoing. When my brother committed a murder case, my mama made him turn himself in. My brother committed a murder case. My mama made him turn himself in. Because my mother don't condone our wrongdoings. Mama say what's right is right and wrong is wrong. So when mama want to know who's right and who's wrong. So I'm listening to his mama. I'm saying, man, that's when them get a hold. Because if a nurse, why she didn't get out the ghetto? Why she leave him stuck out there? I remember I used to run away from home at 13 years old. Every house I went to, every friend I knew, my mama went to their house. So when I came to their house, guess what? They mama and they big brother said, man, your mama was over here looking for you. You can't stay here. Miss White, he over here. And let me just say this, my nigga. My mama don't know what we doing in the streets. How does this woman know so much about what her son doing in the streets if she don't know nothing about it? I think social media played a big part. Man, so my mom ain't on social media. How does so, do social media play a big part? How can she be a nurse and learn all this from social media? How does she know so much about her son's street activity? I think I think all the parents knew, and Young Denise and Queso and all these parents knew each other. What so Queso was... daddy involved? <laughs> I mean, Bibi's dead. No, no, no. What Queso? Didn't Queso dad is telling him? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So Queso allegedly killed Bibi. So, but Queso daddy is in jail with so, but yeah, he was part yeah. of the crime, right? So what well, it sounds like all these together. parents. So it sounds like all these parents, for the most part, condoned it. Because if my son having problems like that, boy, you feel we finna leave. I love you so much. I'm gonna do what my mama did when she had my little sister. My mama took an early retirement from General Motors so she can be a more present parent in my little sister's life. Not everybody has that, bro. Not everybody has a mother working at a job with excellent conditions that will pay you early retirement so that you can go have, go take care of your kids. Some people are working at McDonald's, bro. They quit that job. It's up for them, bro. What are you talking about, bro? early retirement you know how old that woman is how old was your mom when she got her early retirement how did she take care of y'all bro 
Because if she was in her 60s and had it already been working there from her 30s, like, bro, that, that retirement was trash. It was $500, $600 a month. Bro, you got to remember, dog, you're from a whole different generation, bro. You're from a whole different generation where things were whole, completely different. There's job security, job, all of this type of stuff, like, you talking like you talking like everybody's from your condition and that's like bro and i'm saying that as a nigga from a well 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 to do condition like you know what i mean not like well to do like not wealthy but like you know what i mean like i never needed anything out we was never hungry or none of that you feel me so I, I'm not even saying this from a position of a person who's like, oh, yeah, personally, I know that. But I, I got friends. I got family. I got people who really had to struggle and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Differently. You know what I'm saying? Their situations were jacked. Everybody's not in your situation, bro. Compared to when she was working in General Motors when me and my brother was in school. My mother took an early retirement. So she be more present in my sister's life. As a parent, you got to make whatever sacrifice you have to make. But that's what happened when you ain't got no man trying to raise a boy. That's what happened when you ain't, you're a black woman with a job. So it sounds like she felt probably one of the mothers that focused more on her career. And her son had very little parental supervision. So he got to roam and hang in the streets. And she was cool with that. She said she reached. I don't know about that, brother. We are in this, uh, I don't know if dichotomy is the word, but like, I'm going to use it. We are in this dichotomy where it, it's, um, the price for everything is raising. Everything is getting more expensive. Food is getting more expensive. Cost of living is getting more expensive. Uh, rent is getting more expensive. Um, the pay isn't following the cost of living, the inflation. So people are getting paid like very low, s close to like what they were originally getting paid or very like small raises to deal with the inflation. Um, and they're have, having to work longer and more jobs. Um, and they're trying to survive, bro. They're trying to keep a roof over their child's head. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what is she supposed to do? Like, she already done had the kids. We could say she shouldn't have had them kids. All right, cool. But she already done had the kids, bro. It's over. That's 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 out the window. The kids are there. So what is she supposed to do now? She's supposed to quit her job and let... See, if he has said, you should move. That's one thing I've always said. You can't, you, you can't live, love your kids that much. If your whole mentality is like, where am I go? Where I'm gonna go? Like I've been here my whole life, but like all my family's here. This type of stuff. If you have sons, bro, and you're in the hood, and you know, like all of his friends are falling victim to the system. You see his friends, they moving around a certain type of way. He's hanging with his friends. He's moving around a certain type of way. Before that gets any deeper, you should pick up and move somewhere far, far. Like if you gotta live in a rural town of 40 people, that's what you should do. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I've always said, cause like just start applying for jobs out of town. Like, and then if you gotta go stay at a shelter for a couple months or whatever, while you're working, that's acceptable, right? Because now you, you're doing whatever you have to do to get them out of that situation and ensure that they stay alive. Um, but all of this, all of these parents that like be in these situations and then the kids are getting caught up and they're just like too attached to where they are to, to leave. That's, that's something I don't understand. But everything he's saying right now is uh, illegitimate, man. I don't agree. Just out to other parents, but the parents will shy away from... Uh, I was shy away from her, too. When at the end of my son's funeral, we playing this song. 
You see that being in the funeral with they I would shy away from a mother like that too, because we're not finna play this mess outside the church house at my baby's funeral, and this is the reason he's dead. This song is the reason this little mother so they put a hump in the ground. Listen, let me stop this right here. Man, listen, listen, my nigga. They wanted to kill that boy so bad, the same nigga that killed him gave him the pirate nub last year. Yeah. Homie. They say the shell casings are matching for oh. the last shooting. See? With HoneyBook, you can make sure your marketing business is... <laughs> Why did you say the pirate nub, dog? <laughs> Game that pirate nub. <laughs> I hate the internet for making me laugh at shit. Nah, I reg I regularly have a dark sense of humor. So I do laugh at dub shit. Um, but I also have very deep and uh, empathetic thoughts towards those things. And the two can coexist. Because, like, if you've ever seen comedians, comedians make fun of the situations all the time, bro. It's just the way their mind works. So my mind kind of works the same way. I used to do skits and shit, too. You know what I'm saying? I was all right. I was all right. I'm, I'm funny when it's planned. Like, I, I can't be funny on the spot. I'm not on the spot funny. You know what I mean? But, like, when I, like, I have a t chance to sit down and plan some shit, yeah, I could be funny. Um... What the hell is going on here? This ad is still going? This is the world's longest ad. Hold on. That pirate nub. <laughs> when, 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 you're, when you're... Your children still honor your words, even when they get grown. Only to this day, I, I, I don't cuss in front of my mama. I ain't never put a blood up in front of my, in front of my mama. I used to smoke cigarettes. Never seen me put a cigarette up to my mouth. My mother never seen me. Uh, I've never done that. All right. So my internet is acting crazy again. It's all good. In front of my mother. I'm 47 years old. So I don't know what she wanted. Them new mamas. She wanted them mamas. He probably used to hear his mama getting in the house. So I'll you. I say this. Man, that's, that's wild work, wild, wild work. When justifying, blaming, and making excuses for her dead gangster demon son. And I just want to let her know he got what he deserved. Her son deserved to be killed. I want to say this too, though. I mean, the whole entire interview, she never called on Fulio. Oh, him Charles. That's his name. He ain't no fool, yo. He wasn't no fool. Yeah, but, yeah, but it goes back to what you say about. See, that's what that's what I'm talking about, bro. Like, Shorty actually literally came on there and did what you was talking about. You know, um, you used to disrespect the rapper. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, I'm not disrespecting the person. I'm disrespecting the rapper, the character that they play that's destructive to the community, that's destructive to their environment, that's destructive to their neighborhoods, man. You know what I mean? And and, and she went on there and addressed her son by his name, never called him Fulio. And, and you gonna sit here and then say something else about it. Like, I just realized he has a mouse on his hat and a mouse on his shirt. <laughs> It's not a mouse, it's a rat, obviously. <laughs> Bro, out here looking like Captain Rat's a lot. <laughs> there's the character and then there's the there's the real person. Well, same I never heard Mo Three Mother when we had the when we had the murder change me event. I, I never heard Mo Three Mother reference him as Mo Three. She kept saying Lil Melvin. Oh, uh, when I went to Nipsey's funeral, I never heard anybody say Nipsey other than Big Sam. I kept hear, everybody kept saying Earmist. So that's the point I've been trying to make. And I just want to let her know, I don't know Charles. I know Julio Fulio, and the first time I met him, he threatened to harm me, slap me, an elder. Very disrespectful kid. 
And my response was, you ain't never slapped a nigga that'll kill you. And from what I heard, he ain't never slapped a nigga. He just been rapping about people getting killed, and based on what he been rapping about, other people been doing the shooting. But he wasn't no shooter. He wasn't no fighter. He was a little bitty nigga about my size, if not smaller, talking tough on the beach. And looks like every time he was getting shot at, he wasn't shooting back. That's not true. That's not true. He definitely shot back a couple of the times that he got shot at. I don't know what's going on with bro's information system. But I would definitely hope that it wasn't true, that he wasn't... Um, he wasn't on on nothing because for you to lose your life for something that you weren't actually putting any work in for is just a double shame like it's already a shame that you threw your life away for something that wasn't worth it that's something that wasn't constructive something that wasn't ever going to lead to more other than maybe a little bit of notoriety and music and stuff like that um but other than that, like, that stuff is just going to go keep on going. It's going to be going 100 years from now. They're going to go to your block, and there's going to be 100 more dead niggas still repping the same thing, uh, maybe screaming your name. Maybe you've been forgotten by that point. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> you know, so I, I, I do hope that the, the little, uh, little dude was actually actually standing on business because at, at least he went out for something that he was standing for you feel me because uh, other than that if you were just a mouthpiece for the gang it's it's a it's a terrible loss terrible shame and 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 then on top of that it's just you know ugh, embarrassing man you know but i don't think that that was Fulio's situation bro i I'm pretty sure in all all of his stories he he let go back except for the foot one. I don't think he 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 shot back for that one. He was never prepared for what he was rapping about. Julio was a little bit taller. He's probably six one. He six two. In the motherfucker. I ain't talking about height. I'm talking about weight. That nigga was. Yeah yeah yeah. He he, he yeah. yeah. He's probably weighed up about your size. And after they shot him, he probably went to eighty five pounds. What it looked like. So all I'm saying is, homie, uh, as a mother, and the thing that I've said about her son's rap persona, I can get it that she don't agree with what I'm saying. But for her to say, I don't like him and I'm too old, ma'am, I'm playing a character. I'm playing a character. And my character has never physically hurt anybody. Welcome to the San Diego Workforce Partnership. Oh, right. It came up dead because of my character. I say a lot of things. Your son done a lot of things. So I want to remind people again, because I have to keep saying this every six months when we talk about Charleston. Actions speak louder than words, my nigga. I ain't never hurt nobody. Never in my life have I shot a gun at a black man. I went to the boys home, nigga, because we killed the white man. I've never broken into a black person's house. I've never stoked a nigga in the head. I've never committed crimes to my people, homie. So he was doing this. I mean, that's weird because he was uh, apparently a crip out there in Texas. So who the fuck were you beefing with if it wasn't other black people? Your set just had no beef. You weren't getting busy. In the boys' home, you never had to, like fight or stand up for yourself you sound like a liar you sound like a liar you sound like a liar I wa I I'm gonna keep on watching bro because he always has some legit um, jewels in between all the BS um, I used to believe the character story that he always put out because at that time was making sense like he was he would do something outrageous and then he would give context to the outrageous behavior and you would go, all right, I, I, I get it, I get it. I wouldn't do that, but like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's needed. Kind of like a comedian's voice, like, you know, 
comedians are good for pointing out uh, the craziness of society without making people depressed about it. They, they keep it light. They can uh, point to very dark things and make people laugh about it, but make people think as well. At, at least the original art form of comedy, like the new, things have been getting more shallow. Like comedy is getting more shallow, music's getting more shallow. It's, it's almost nothing now in society that presents you with a moment to think outside of YouTube content and uh, creators that uh, actually have the presence of mind to include those messages and their entertainment, you know? Um, anyhow, this is all I'm gonna go through of this video for today, um, because this is an hour and 25 minute video. And I don't, really, I don't really feel like sitting here for an hour and 25 minutes. If that's the case, I'll go live. But um, you already know what it is, it's your boy Sense. Please make sure you hit like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out, let's get it.